Hey guys and welcome back to another Tech Guru video. So in this tutorial we are in Lightroom and I'm going to be showing you how to add watermarks on top of your photos so you can share them with people uh, without the fear of them stealing your content. So if you want to learn how to do that, add a watermark to your photos in Lightroom, stick around and you'll know. All right, guys, so as I said, we're going to be in Lightroom adding and applying a watermark on top of our photos. So the first thing you need to do is set up your watermarks. So go up to where you see Lightroom and then go down to where you see edit watermarks right there. And then once you do that, you're going to be presented the watermark editor. So I'm going to zoom in now to kind of show you a little more detail about what's going to happen. Now, there are two types of watermarks. There are a text style and then there is a graphic style. So that's pretty self-explanatory. It's either a text watermark or a graphic watermark with an image. So let's go ahead and start with the text style here. Now, uh, when you have the text style selected, underneath here in the text box, as you can see, as I have highlighted, uh, it has, you know, copyright Dusty Porter. Uh, this could say anything. It doesn't have to say that. It can say your company name, whatever you want it to say. It can say any of that stuff. And then as you see here in the corner of the image you can see what that watermark is going to look like now I can also click right here and hold and drag to make that watermark bigger now again if you're having a watermark on an image you probably don't want to cover up all of the image but again depending on your purpose of why you need a watermark you may need it a little larger or a little smaller so I'm going to make it about that size there so we can kind of see uh, see it a little better in the tutorial now over here this is basically your basic formatting options like you would see in any text editor we can change the font of the watermark to any font that we have installed there on the computer and then under style basically you'll have like regular bold italic like you normally would uh, center right aligned left aligned pretty self-explanatory color very self-explanatory it can be blue it can be black it can be white whatever you want it to be and then the next option that we'll see here is the shadow option. So basically the opacity slider is the one you're probably going to play with a lot. Uh, this is going to basically change the opacity as far as like whether or not how transparent it is. Uh, so you can change that slider there uh, as much as you want. So as you can see, the further to the right, the more kind of clear it gets. The further to the left, it kind of gets a little clear, see-through. So you definitely want to keep that towards the right again, but it'll all be case by case depending on why you need a watermark. So you can adjust the shadow settings there to see uh, if you can get a desired look that you want. Next, you're going to see the watermark effects here, okay? This is going to be your true opacity slider, okay? So if we slide that opacity all the way down to the left, as you see, that watermark is no longer visible. If we slide it all the way to the right, it is completely visible. So you may want it to be somewhere in the middle there, uh, just so the watermark is not so intrusive when you're trying to look at the image. But I'm going to keep it all the way to the right. Now, uh, under size, it's proportional as far as being proportionate with the image that it's on top of. But if we go to the right here, it's obviously going to be a lot larger. Go to the left, it's going to be a lot smaller. So basically, this is just another size slider as opposed to going down here, clicking and holding and doing it that way. So you can do it one of those two ways. Now, we can either fit or we can fill. So basically, the fill is going to go crazy. You don't want to do that unless, again, you have a special case. But the fit is going to fit it exactly on the image that it's going on top of. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do proportional like I have already there. Uh, and that's normally what you're going to want to do. Uh, on inset, uh, you got horizontal and vertical. Basically, this is just the uh, location of the watermark on your image. You can go left and right to make it go left and right. You can go left and right on vertical to make it go up and down. So all of that is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, as far as the anchor, uh, basically this can anchor it in the center of the image. This will anchor it to the center left. So that's pretty self-explanatory there. Click around and see if you can find a location that suits your needs. Uh, rotate, self-explanatory there. Click the little rotate button. That'll rotate your watermark to be uh, three, you know, 360 degrees all the way around. You can rotate the watermark there as well. Now, that's about all you would need to do as far as the text uh, style there. Let's go ahead and go to graphics. So under graphic, you're going to uh, be queued up to select an image on your computer uh, that is going to be the watermark. 
All right, so as you see here, I've selected an image for my computer, a little technology guru image logo here that's now on top of the picture. So again, this is the picture style, and then we had the text style that we just went over. Now what you are going to want to do is to go over here and be able to adjust some of these settings. Now, there's not as many settings with the image, so we can just adjust the opacity to kind of change how uh, the opacity is there. We can also make it proportional. We can make it fit the uh, image, and we can also make it fill the image. So we'll go ahead and go to fit, and then we'll go ahead and, and, and include it there on the center of the image, and then we'll go ahead and take that opacity down a little bit just so you can still see the image that it's on, but it also has that watermark. Again, this is basically just for the purposes of this tutorial. Now, once you have a custom watermark set up, you'll click the blue save button in the lower right hand corner. Once you've clicked that, you'll be able to name the watermark. So this watermark, I'm going to name image, and then I'll go ahead and click the blue create button, and then I'll go back up again and under edit watermarks, I'll go ahead and quickly add a text one by going to save, and then I'll name this one text. So we have two different watermarks. Now, how do you export an image with a watermark, right? That's the main question here. So select a few images that you may want to export, whatever these images may be, and then go to where you see the export button right here uh, in the lower left-hand corner of Lightroom. And then once you're there, it's going to ask you, where do you want it to export to? So I'm gonna go ahead and choose a specific folder, uh, in my case, the desktop, just to make it a little easier. Uh, and then basically, if we scroll all the way down, to where you see watermarking, it's going to be at the bottom, right above post processing. We'll click the little check mark by watermark, and then we'll go up here, and as you can see, we have our image and text watermark already available to us to select to apply to our images. So we'll go ahead and add the image watermark, and then we'll go ahead and export that file, or those files, and then it'll take a few seconds until they export, and then if we pull those up on our computer like so, you can see that the watermark is now on top of the image just like we set up in the edit watermark section. So hopefully this helped you guys out. If it did, help me out by slapping that like button down below. As always, guys, don't forget to subscribe for more great content just like this. Thank you so much for watching my videos, and I will see you guys in the next one.